Hi there, so in this video we are going to talk about Svelte Fragment, and this is fairly new. Uh, it's been added in one of the more recent versions of Svelte, and basically what it lets you do is put stuff into a named slot without having to use a div. Okay, so if you don't know what named slots are, um, you might want to go look that up. But basically, I have this layout component, and it's got a header and a main. And I want to insert my content right here. I want to insert these Pokemon into the main slot and this up here into the header slot. And this component gives me some cool stuff like um, header has some CSS, make it sticky, uh, there's another random thing, justify content, space between. And then main also has some styles for my images that are going to go inside of my main slot here. Okay, so normally what I would have to do is come here, I have my layout component, so I'm going to wrap my content in this layout component like that. And then right now there's nothing here because I don't have a default slot, like a slot without a name. So like if I, it'll go in there if I remove that, but actually this is named main. Okay, so what I need to do, uh, what I need to do usually is wrap my content in divs, uh, which I've already done here. So I've got this div. Basically, I don't need this div, but I just, well, I do need it. I don't want to need it, but I do. So I need to put this div into header, and then I want to put this div into main. So I say slot equals main. Okay, so now they've been inserted into uh, these right here. The issue is is that this div here is actually being inserted into header. But I want there to be space between, I want there to be justify content space between, so really I just want to add, I just want to put this into my header slot, not this whole div thing. I want these to be the children of my header slot. So instead of this div here, I can use, you guessed it, svelte fragment, like this. One, two, three, and this will make it look a bit different. Okay, so now I have the styles that I want. So now I'm just plopping this right into the slot rather than having to wrap it in a div. And again, here I've got some styles that I'm missing out on because this is now the main child of, or it's the, it's the basically that whole div, this one div is getting put inside of main, but I want each image to individually be put inside of main. So again, we can do svelte fragment like this. And now they're going to get those styles that I wanted. Okay, and that's what Svelte Fragment is. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at um, some asynchronous components and using Svelte Fragments for those as well. So let me know if you have any questions and have a wonderful day.